Hello and wa welcome to another day of walking with Jesus as we continue our journey with Jesus through the Gospel of Luke. And wow, what a passage we have to look at today. It's uh, Luke chapter 11 verses 14 and following. And it has to do with the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of Satan and uh, the the things that are going on. It's it's an amazing passage. It's a long passage. I'm just going to grab one part today. I'll read the whole thing, but then we'll look at one part. So this is Luke 11, 14 through 23. Now he, Jesus, was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke and the people marveled. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, while others, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And if Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebub, and if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But, but if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong, fully armed man guards his own palace, his goods are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overcomes him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Wow. <clears throat> so this is a passage that reveals that there is spiritual warfare going on and that Jesus was in the thick of it, the kingdom of God versus the kingdom of Satan. Beelzebub, for those of you who may not be familiar, is the prince of demons or the leader of the demons or another way of referring to Satan even, the accuser, the devil, the adversary. So Beelzebub is sort of a personal name that that means prince of demons. So it would be the satanic figure. So verse 14, now he was casting out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke and the people marveled. So first of all, notice that Jesus has power over the spiritual forces of darkness, over uh, the, the powers of Satan. Uh, then 15, but some of them said, because they didn't want to believe in him. I mean, this is, this is my commentary added in there. But some of them said, because they didn't want to believe that Jesus was uh, the Son of God, or that he was the Messiah, or that he was someone that they had to pay attention to, they said, he casts out demons by Beelzebub, the prince of demons, while others, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. Okay, that's what we're going to look at today. We are, we're just going to look at this. This is Jesus going about the work of the Lord, going about the business that God has given him. He is here on earth serving God the Father, and as a part of that, he casts out this demon. The people are amazed. They marvel. They should. But some who don't want to believe, accuse him of casting a demon out by the prince of demons. And others just continue to test him, asking for my, more signs. So what, what I want you to take away from this as you walk with Jesus today, one of the things I want you to take away from this is simply, you can't please everyone. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how good it is. It doesn't matter how loving it is. It doesn't matter how in alignment with the will and the purpose of God it is. You're not going to make everybody happy. So I think we need to get over trying to do that and simply do what God asks us to do. And not worry about constantly trying to prove ourselves. Because that's the last part, you know, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. 
And Jesus just cuts that off. We'll, we'll get into some of that tomorrow. But, you know, I don't know about you, but I know about me. I, and I struggle because I want to please people. I want to make people happy. I want uh, to be able to show them, you know, unequivocally that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah. This is, this is in my heart to do. But I need to get over that and realize, you know what? I'm not going to please everybody. I'm not going to make everybody happy. And I'm not going to be able to prove absolutely that Jesus is who he said he was. He didn't prove it to those who were around him. And we can't prove it either. So as you walk with Jesus today, just follow Jesus and be obedient to him. Trust him to take care of those who don't want to believe. God bless you as you walk with Jesus today.